Hi guys. I found a really neat website online that is called Epic and it's got all kinds of educational books and it even has some audio books. Um, we are actually talking about habitats is one of the things that we were supposed to be learning about right now. And since we're not in school, I figured I would go ahead and find some stuff about that. Um, it did take a sign up to get onto the website, but there's a 30 day free trial. So I went ahead and signed up and figured I would check it out some. So I found this book on oceans and it is by Catherine Sill. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm. All right. And it says that these are the oceans featured in this book, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Arctic, and then the Southern Ocean itself. Oceans are huge bodies of salt water that cover most of the earth. All the world's oceans are joined together. The bottom of the ocean is often called the ocean floor. Parts of it are flat. Other places on the ocean floor have the world's tallest mountains and the deepest valleys. Ocean water is always moving. The, ocean, or the water in oceans may be warm and tropical or cold and frozen, like in the Arctic Ocean. Plants that live in oceans need sunshine to grow. They live in shallow water or float near the top where there is more sunlight. Most ocean animals live near the top of the water where there is plenty of sunlight. Some live in the dim light between the surface and the bottom of the ocean. Fewer animals live in the deepest parts of the ocean where it is cold and dark. Animals that live in oceans move in different ways. Some always stay in one place, like the giant clams. Many ocean animals eat meat. Others eat plants. Ocean animals need ways to stay safe. They may hide swim together in schools, attack enemies, or use poisons. Oceans provide food, jobs, transportation, and recreation for people all over the world. They are important places that need to be protected. Plate 1. Oceans cover 7% of Earth. All ocean water is salty. Most of the salt comes from land. The salt found in soil and rocks is dissolved in water and washed into the oceans by rivers. Underwater volcanoes also add salt to the ocean. Albatrosses spend most of their lives gliding over the ocean looking for food such as fish and squid. Wandering albatrosses have the largest wingspan up to 11 and a half feet or 3.5 meters of any bird in the world. They live in the Southern Ocean. Plate two, there are five oceans in the world. The Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic Oceans are all connected to form one world ocean. Smaller bodies of water linked to oceans are called seas and gulfs. Earth is sometimes called the blue planet because the huge size of the ocean causes it to look blue from outer space. Plate three, the area of, of the ocean floor around the edge of each continent is called the continental shelf. It slopes out gently for many miles. Much of the deep ocean floor is covered by flat places called abyssal plains. Some rays live along the bottom of the ocean on the continental shelf. Their flat bodies help them hide and hunt. Southern stingrays use the venomous spines on their tails to defend themselves. They live in the Western Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean Sea. Plate 4. 
Mountains beneath the ocean are called seamounts. Many seamounts are under thousands of feet of water. The tops of some of these mountains rise above the ocean surface to form islands. The deep valleys on the ocean floor are called trenches. Scallop hammerheads, a type of shark, sometimes swim in large schools around seamounts. They live in temperate and tropical waters all over the world. Plate 5. Waves, tides, and currents keep ocean water in constant motion. Wind blowing across the surface of the ocean creates waves. Tides cause the ocean level to rise and fall two times a day in most places. Currents are streams of water that move continuously in a certain direction throughout the oceans. Short-beaked common dolphins are marine mammals that live in warm, temperate, and tropical waters of the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Plate 6. Ocean closets to Earth's Earth. Oceans closest to Earth's equator are tropical. Coral reefs are found in the warm waters of tropical oceans. Some anemones and clownfish live together on coral reefs, like in Nemo. Anemones catch food by grabbing and stinging small animals with their tentacles. Clownfish are covered with slimy mucus that protects them from the stings. Clownfish stay safe from enemies by living among the anemones' tentacles. They help the anemones by eating tiny animals and plants that cause them harm. On plate 7, the coldest ocean waters are near the North and South Poles. In winter, the surfaces of polar oceans freeze over. Many animals are able to live below the ice. Animals that need to breathe air must stay near breathing holes. Beluga whales live in the chilly Arctic Ocean. They are sometimes called sea canaries because of the whistling sound that they make. Plate 8. Giant kelp in the largest ocean, or is the largest ocean plant and one of the fastest growing plants in the world. It can grow up to 24 inches in one day. Giant kelp makes dense forests in shallow water in the Northeast Pacific and temperate waters of Southern oceans. Sargassum seaweed drifts in large mats on the surface in parts of the ocean. Many animals such as the sargassum fish live in sargassum seaweed. Sargassum fish inhabit tropical and subtropical oceans around the world. Plate nine. The top layer of the ocean is called the sunlit zone. Tiny plants and animals called plankton are plentiful in the sunlit zone. Plankton provides food for many ocean animals, including flying fish. Larger animals often feed on those that eat plankton. Flying fish are able to escape from predators by jumping out of the water and gliding through the air. Black wing flying fish live in subtropical oceans around the world. Plate 10. The middle zone of the ocean is called the twilight zone. It has little sunlight. Sperm whales come to the surface to breathe, but they dive to the twilight zone to hunt for squid. They are able to stay underwater for up to two hours. Sperm whales live in deep waters in all the oceans. Giant squids can be up to 59 feet long. They are rarely seen in the wild. Their remains have been found in the stomachs of sperm whales. Giant squid probably live in all of the oceans. On plate 11, the deep part of the ocean that gets no sunlight is called the midnight zone. There is little food in this region. Some animals that live there eat dead plants and animals that have drifted down from the surface. Other deep ocean dwellers have long, sharp teeth for catching prey. Humpback angelfish, anglerfish have glowing lures that cause curious animals to come close to their large mouths. Anglerfish live in all the oceans. Portuguese men of war use their gas-filled balloons to float to the surface of the warm oceans around the world. Giant octopuses swim in the Pacific Ocean by drawing water into their bodies and forcing it out in a powerful squirt. Striped remoras hitch rides. They have suction cups on the top of their heads, which they use to attach themselves 
to animals such as black tip reef sharks. Remoras live in all warm oceans. Fjordland penguins dive and swim in the Pacific Ocean. Spiny lobsters walk along the ocean floor in the Western Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean Sea. Plate 13 had animals that stay in one place without moving are called sessile. Giant clams fasten themselves on coral reefs and sit there for the rest of their lives. Their bright colors come from algae that live in the clams and provide them with food. These clams also feed by filtering plankton from the water. They can be over four feet long and weigh over 500 pounds. Giant clams live in the Indian and South Pacific Oceans. Plate 14. Animals that eat meat are called carnivores. Large carnivores usually eat smaller animals. The smaller animals eat animals and plants that are even smaller. This is called a food chain. Adult Atlantic sailfish have no predators. They are the top of their food chain. They eat small fish, such as sardines. Sardines eat the tiny marine animals and plants called plankton. Atlantic sailfish live in the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. Plate 15. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Adult green sea turtles eat ocean plants, such as seagrasses and algae. Green sea turtles are endangered because people hunt and eat them and their eggs and because land development destroys their nesting sites. Pollution sometimes ruins the seagrass beds that provide food for them. Green sea turtles live in tropical and subtropical oceans around the world. Plate 16, leafy sea dragons look almost exactly like some types of seaweed. These fish can easily hide from enemies in seaweed beds. They live in the Indian Ocean along the southern coast of Australia. Yellow and black, or blue-backed, yeah, often form large schools that can confuse predators. They inhabit parts of the tropical Indian and Pacific Oceans. Blue crabs, which live in the western Atlantic Ocean, snap their claws aggressively when threatened. Red lionfish defend themselves with venomous spines located on their fins. They are native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans, but have been introduced to other places. And Plate 17, all of the oceans together provide the largest habitat and support the greatest variety of life on Earth. Oceans influence the world's climate. They provide many natural resources such as oil, salt, and other valuable minerals. Oceans are an important source of oxygen in spite of their huge size Oceans can be harmed by human activity. Pollution and overfishing are two major threats to the well-being of oceans. Healthy oceans are necessary for healthy people. All right, the end. And there are also books on the desert, the forest, grasslands, seashores, polar regions, wetlands. And I think that we will probably get to all of those sometime in the next week or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little something and I will see you soon.